World War I, World War II, the Cold War. They've all led us to this, the sixth generation of fighter jets. Throughout the last century, the nation with the most advanced fighter jet has dominated on the battlefield. It's no coincidence that the only three nations to develop fifth generation fighters, China, Russia, and the US, are considered to be the most powerful nations in the world. And now, with six generation fighters upon us, the US, Russia, China, and this time Europe are ready to battle it out. They've all created next generation programs designed to develop fighters of the future more lethal than anything the world has ever seen. In this video, we take a look at their respective programs, starting with the US NGAD. The Next Generation Air Dominance Program, or NGAD for short, is the United States' sixth generation program out of which the next generation of American fighter jet will be born. Combined with other systems being developed in the program, this fighter is designed to ensure air superiority for the U.S. even in the most challenging operational environments, whilst also having multi-role capabilities. To achieve this, the NGAD fighter will be wielded with a long line of advancements, particularly three key ones. Number 3. Stealth Stealth is an advancement that has been here only one generation of fighters ago, but it's clearly one that's here to stay. According to the Air Force's biennial acquisition report covering the fiscal years 2019 and 2020, the NGAD fighter maximizes its stealth features by taking an overall triangular shape and having no traditional vertical stabilizers. It is the first fighter in history to be unveiled with such a design. This is because the design is revolutionary. Vertical stabilizers had always been required to keep an aircraft airborne until the concept of active flow control came to life in the B-2 spirit. Active flow control uses computer brains on board to constantly adjust the flow around the aircraft to keep it airborne, similar to how birds fly. The result of this on an aircraft is top-level stealth, although it does come at a not-so-wallet-friendly cost. This, to an extent, justifies why the B-2 costs $2 billion and why Congress has budgeted over $10 billion for the NGAD in less than a decade. For even more improved stealth, the NGAD fighter will likely carry all of its fuel and weapons internally. For this, the fighter will have to be huge, over 70-foot-long huge. With its lavish internal space, the fighter can afford to be packed with the latest, most advanced sensors to come out of American borders. Number 2. Advanced Sensors The NGAD fighter's immediate surroundings will be miles wide, as it would be capable of spotting targets, friendlies, and points of interest from forever away. This capability enables the fighter to double as a surveillance, reconnaissance, and target acquisition aircraft. The sensors that make this possible come with maximum connectivity, and thus the ability to share its data with every other member of the fleet, whether sixth generation or not, keeping every member of the US fleet abreast of relevant information in real time. To keep the sensor's accuracy at the max, the US would do away with radars mounted on the aircraft to electronically configured smart skins integrated into the aircraft's fuselage. This results in increased sensor sensitivity as well as network adaptability. It also aids with communication across the fleet and ultimately enables remote control. As a result, the NGAD fighter is designed to be optionally manned depending on the requirements of the mission. Number 1. Open Architecture Laser weapons that can take out targets on the ground, in the air, on the seas, and even in space. A mix of high-performance guns, missiles, AETP engines capable of subsonic, transonic, and supersonic flight that cost over $6 billion to develop. Loyal wingmen, top-of-the-line electronic warfare countermeasures, avionics, and communications are only some of what to expect on the NGAD fighter. But despite this advanced tech, decades of history have taught the US that an aircraft will always have room to be better, no matter how advanced it is, especially with near-peer adversaries becoming more near-peer by the day. As a result, the NGAD fighter will come with open architecture that enables the fighter to take on new upgrades easily and quickly. This way, the fighter will constantly adapt to newer challenges on the battlefield that are introduced by the advancements of opposing militaries. To put it simply, the 6th generation NGAD fighter can be upgraded to become the 7th generation NGAD fighter years after it's fielded in the 2030s. This and more are what it takes to get to and remain at the top in a heavily contested battle for 6th generation dominance by the NGAD fighter and three other major competitors.
Europe, Russia, and China have also got the ball rolling with sixth-generation fighter programs of their own, all expected to wield the most advanced local and foreign technology their respective countries could offer. Europe, being a continent, has already had a bit of drama concerning its sixth-generation fighter, as two separate programs have been developed for that same cause, the FCAS and Tempest. FCAS and Tempest France, Germany, and Spain came together to develop the Future Combat Air System, or FCAS for short, while Britain, Italy, and Sweden developed the Tempest. However, both being European programs developed by allied countries, the FCAS and Tempest seem destined to merge eventually, and moves to that effect are already underway. The resulting fighter of these programs would be all capable, with the ability to concurrently conduct surveillance, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, command, and control tasks. These are made possible by a long line of advancements, such as highly sensitive sensors which are assisted by artificial intelligence and machine learning to draw a Picasso-level quality of the battlefield, enabling the pilot to stay out of view from threats. That task is further eased by loyal wingmen and a flexible software-driven flight control system that adapts rapidly to changes in environmental and situational conditions. Although the pilot will be pampered with all of these technologies, the fighter may actually not need a pilot, as it is slated to have manned, unmanned, and optionally manned modes of operation. Huge fuel tanks top off these capabilities with longer range, and the latest European weapons gift the fighter with unrivaled lethality. Between the FCAS and Tempest programs are six countries, eight internationally reputable companies, and over $15 billion budgeted so far. This fighter, expected to be in service by the 2040s, will be quite the machine. MiG-41 The Mikoyan MiG-41 is Russia's entry into the sixth-generation fighter race. It is expected to be a stealth interceptor aircraft and a heavy fighter that enters service between the mid-2020s and mid-2030s. Russia didn't officially designate the fighter as the MiG-41, but it has earned this unofficial name thanks to being a MiG aircraft with a project code having something to do with 41. Its plan name, however, although Russian, when translated to English means Prospective Air Complex for Long Range Interception, which is exactly what it's designed for, preventing the opposition from any form of superiority. And ironically, air superiority is all every other sixth generation fighter is on the hunt for. To ensure the MiG 41 comes out on top of its own quest, the Director General of RSK MiG, Ilya Tarasenko, speculated that powered by the Izdelier 30 engines currently under development, the aircraft would be capable of up to Mach 4.3 speeds, be equipped with an anti-missile laser, would be able to operate at altitudes that border on space, and could have an unmanned version. These are in addition to features that happen to be present in virtually every sixth-generation fighter there is, including a large airframe, loyal wingmen, highly advanced electronic warfare countermeasures, among others. According to Ilya Tarasenko, the MiG-41 can be completed as early as 2025. So with the sixth generation plans of Russia and the US out in the open, what about China? China's sixth generation fighter. Dr. Wang Haifeng, chief designer of the Chengdu Aerospace Corporation, announced that China had begun pre-research on sixth generation aircraft in January 2019, predicting that the program would come to fruition by 2035. Similarly to other countries building sixth-generation aircraft, the next-generation fighter will build on fifth-generation technology that has been perfected over the years. For China, this fifth-generation testbed is the J-20. Packed with a world of capabilities, the J-20 is China's most capable fighter jet to date. The stealth jet employs a holistic approach to reduce its radar cross-section. The chimed four-body, modified radar radome, and electroconductive canopy use stealth shaping as the diverterless supersonic inlets improve stealth performance by eliminating radar reflections between the diverter and the aircraft's skin. The dual engines thrust the J-20 to a maximum speed of Mach 2, a surface ceiling of 66,000 feet, and allow a maximum range of 3,400 miles with two external fuel tanks. That's just shy of the radius of the planet. In terms of avionics and armaments, Let's just say the J-20 is packed with enough of them to match up well against both the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II. And these features that make the J-20 will be upgraded multiple times over and then integrated into China's sixth-generation fighter. So China, Russia, Europe, and the US are preparing for the biggest bout in the history of fighter jets, 
and their representatives are none other than the sixth generation fighters discussed in this video. Now the ring is set as the world waits for two things, for these contenders to introduce themselves and for you to subscribe to this channel. So kindly hit the red subscribe button below now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.